All right, boys and girls, and welcome to Goron Guitar. We have the Ambassadors here with Sonoko. A nice song there. I really like the vibe of this song. So let's go into this one without any capo. All right, so we're going to look at some chords. But the main thing here is the picking pattern. So we're going to start with that. Uh, but first, let's look at the chords that are behind these picking patterns. So we're going to go with D minor first. All right, so that is open D, second G, third B, and first E. We have the A sharp sus version. All right, so that's a bar chord. You play the bar here on the first fret. You don't have to bar the E string here in the bass, but the five below you have to. So you put the index finger on that position, first fret, and then you add the third fret on D string and third on G. We have another bar chord here in F. So here, still first fret, but you need to bar all strings there. And then you need to add third on A, third on D, and second on G. We also have the C chord. And that is third on A, second on D, open G, first B, and open E. And there you have all the chords needed for this song. All right, so four chords, D minor, A sharp, F and C. So with that, we're gonna go and take a look at the pecking patterns first. So we're gonna look at the verse play first and then the chorus. Uh, we only have two different parts here in the song. So let's look at the verse play. The patterns will be the same but we just have different grips depending on the chords there. So, so D minor first, let's do this grip. So that is fifth on A string and third on D. Okay, you hold that. We're just gonna alternate between two notes, two strings. So the first D minor goes. Okay, so it's two times on the fifth fret A string. Then two times on the third fret D. Then fifth A one time. And third fret D string one time. So. A, A, D, D, A, D. That's the strings and the rhythm, okay? So it goes. Okay, that's the rhythm. Okay, and then you apply the same principles here uh, in playing and the rhythm here with the next uh, grip there. So we're gonna take a look at the next one, which is the A sharp grip. You go like this. Now you had a first fret on A string and you alternate that with the third fret D string. So same pattern, sounds like this. Okay, so that is A two times, then D two times, then A one time, and D one time. All right. Next grip here will be with the F. We're gonna have this position here, third fret on D string. You alternate that with fifth fret on the G string. Same pattern. All right. So nothing new there, and we have the C now. You go up to this position. From the F, it's just one string up with everything. You don't have to change a grip at all like this. Just third fret on A string and fifth on D. Same pattern. Yeah. And there you have what you need to play the song. So the verse goes one round of D minor, one round of A sharp, then one round of F, and one round of C. That's the first half of it. The next half will be D minor one round, A sharp one round, and C two rounds. Okay, so D minor, A sharp, F, and C. Again, D minor, A sharp, and C two times. And that's the verse play. 
All right, over to the chorus now. You're gonna play A sharp one, D minor one, F one, and C one. That's the first half of it. And then the other half will be A sharp one, D minor one, and C two. And when you played C2, then you just go back to the A sharp and play one down on the bass. That is a one down with a pause there, and that marks out that it's the end of the chords and a new uh, round there with a new verse and, and everything. So that is the chorus. We're gonna go through it together. A sharp, D minor, F, and C. Back to A sharp. D minor and C2 and one down on the A sharp there. A pause and that's it. And there you have both parts there when it comes to the picking patterns of this song. Now you can also translate this into a string pattern. So you're gonna of course use the same chord. So if you go back to the D minor, the verse play D minor, A sharp, F and C. It's enough, we just take a look at these four chords, the first half of it. You're gonna use a string pattern, it's very common. It goes down, down, up, up, down, up. All right, so it replaces this picking pattern perfectly. So down, down, up, up, down, up. With D minor, it sounds. down, down, up, up, down, up. Same there, one string pattern where you play one picking pattern, you translate that right evenly. So D minor. Again, D minor, A sharp, F, C. Yeah, so both picking patterns and string pattern, that's what you need to handle. Sunoko, nice song there, so give it a try. Hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, feel free to support me here. I really appreciate all that, so yeah, hope to see you soon. Play tuned.